Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. I hope all of you are having a good day. Some minor news that I want to report on coming in from Zenit St. Petersburg Football Club. Their Instagram have their Instagram team have officially announced that Nikita Guelo will be returning from his loan to St. Petersburg uh, and he will join Zenit at the end of this season. So his loan with another uh, club in the Russian Premier League, uh, Niz Nizhny Novgorod, uh, and he's at a loan at this club and he will be returning uh, with us at the end of the season. And we have four games left, so the season is very very near to an end and we have a very 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 few games and four games is almost nothing this saturday we have a game and then you know we're gonna have three more and then the season will come to an end so uh the timeline is very very short um and this news that i'm reporting on uh that nikita guelo will be joining back in st petersburg from his loan uh, at the end of the season, this news was reported today by Zinyet. Um So it is interesting. Uh, I've also have read on this article that he will be signed. That his contract. Uh, I don't know if he re-signed or it was his 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 uh, current contract, um, but he will be he will be signed with Zinyet until the the end of the season of 2026 2027 so he will be signed with us for a long term and he still has uh, a good six years seven years with us so it has plenty of time for his development um Nikita Guelo uh, is 24 years old at the moment um but by by the time the, the next season starts so next year uh next season he will be 25 so very very young man uh he is at an age now where he will hit his prime uh and he i would say could become the backup for mikhil uh, kirjakov um who is 36 years old he is getting older um i will talk about kirjakov in a, in a bit um but uh, at the moment i see nikita guelo as the number one backup for uh, for Kejakov. Now I know uh, this season the number one backup for Kejakov was Alexander Vazutin, who was and has had a very good season. And I, I meant by was, I meant in a way where uh, when Kejakov got injured, he really took over. And he he is a very comfortable goalkeeper. He is very experienced, and he's 28 years old, so he has a lot of experience, and he has played for a number of clubs. Uh, so he is still a goalkeeper. That if your number one goalkeeper, which our number one goalkeeper is Kijakov, and if he gets injured, Alexander Vazuitin can easily come in and. Uh, you know, start a few games if Kirjakov is not healthy for uh, those games. Um, but now, with that being said, I think this summer, uh, Alexander Vasovitin has to go. Uh, not in a rude way, not in a way where I'm not thankful for Vasovitin. I think uh, Vasovitin is a, a wonderful um, backup. Now, I will not just say right now, I wouldn't say to just get rid of him, but I will say, I, actually, actually, you know what, never mind all of this, let me just change this topic real quick, let me just say that Nikita Guelo and Vazutin should have a, a good, aggressive competition for the backup spot. Now, Kirjakov, I know he is getting older, and I don't know if he will, you know, uh retire at the end of the season there's still four games left so so uh from kirjakov's team uh his, his manager and you know just just his team and and himself they have not announced just yet uh what his future will be like so there is no report just yet um but we'll see if he retires or not from what i've seen personally he's still a very good goalkeeper he's still very sharp he's still healthy and i still feel like he still has a lot of gas in the tank. I still feel like he has a good uh, 
two, three more, uh, th two, three more years left um, to to play you know, good football and you know have two, three more years with Zenit Saint Petersburg uh, and uh, you know start for us. Um, but I like I would like to see Nikita Guelo, who will be twenty five, and then Alexander Vazuitin, who is twenty eight. You know, have a good competition for uh, the number one backup. Uh, at, at at every game, basically, we always have you know three goalkeepers. Um, so there is the one starting, and then there's always two goalkeepers. Um, but there is also there there is not, not also, but there's always you know a number one backup, and you know a goalkeeper that is designated to be you know. The backup that will take away, uh, like that will take on right away if uh, Kirjakov gets injured or is really unfit to play a game. Um, so it will be interesting. I would like to see a good uh, dog fight in a sense. I would say in a way uh, to see who is worthy to be um, the backup for Kirjakov. And I do trust our manager. And you know now it's all up to the manager to 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 determine who will be the the perfect man to uh, be, uh, you know, backing up Kirjakov. Now, there is three other goalkeepers in our system, in our program for uh, Zinyet. Uh, we have Daniel Adoevsky, Adoevsky, who is 20 years old, very, very young. And I have seen, uh, I, don't, I haven't seen any games of uh, Adoevsky yet. Um, but I have seen him in a few pictures. I have seen him on the bench. So I could see that he's very involved with our senior squad. Um, but I haven't seen him just start just yet. Um, so I don't know how his future is right now. But he's still so young. So he we can easily keep him. And if we're not able to keep him in our senior squad, we can just send him. We can just send him down to uh, Zinyet Saint Petersburg too, uh, which is our junior squad. Uh, we can easily send him there, uh, and maybe potentially he he can start those games there, um, because I think over there we still have you know a twenty year old uh, David Biazorov, and we have Georgi uh, Karaliev, who is. 19 years old and he will turn 20 this summer which is phenomenal it's a phenomenal age you know uh he is fresh on the 20s uh you know he has plenty of potential you know a young blood a young man with with a lot of potential and he will get plenty of chances and he has you know about four to five years to develop himself i always think uh you know usually uh, the other players, like the other position players, like you know, strikers, um, midfielders, defenders. I would say maybe defenders. Even for them, it takes a little longer to develop. Uh, I would say like their age of development, uh, when they reach their prime, is about the age of you know twenty three, twenty four ish. Um, strikers, I think they have to develop more faster since they have more uh, kind of. Um, less like no they actually strikers have less responsibility so it's much easier for youngsters in that position to come in and uh be already on top of their prime and we have seen it from the number of players i'm talking about you know of course i don't want to say just you know the legend of the game the greatest to ever do it cristiano ronaldo Lionel messi and now we have you know more youngsters who have their potential through the roof guys like Kylian Mbappe, Erling Haaland, uh, you know, talented, talented youngsters, very, very young. Um, but at, by, by the age of like 18, 19, they were already on top of the world and one of the best strikers in the world. Um, so it's much easier for strikers to develop, uh, and their ages of development is much, much smaller than you know guys like at the uh, at the defense and especially goalkeeping for me in my eyes from what i've seen from my experience i think the age of uh the the, the perfect age of where i i say okay now we should start looking at the goalkeeper if he's good or not is 24 25 that's where i think is the perfect age to determine now that's where the goalkeeper has hit his prime now we can we can start judging him on if he's a quality class player 
or if he's you know he doesn't have a good future or if he's you know not going to be the goalkeeper that we all thought he was you know i think from 24 25 that's where the whole process of seeing if he's a good goalkeeper or not that's when it starts that's when a goalkeeper finally hits his uh, ceiling and now we can see the, the the flashes and and then we can see where the future lies you know now i'm i'm not going to say that age the age factor is big of course like that's the that's the foundation of it you know some goalkeepers you know maybe it even takes them even more you know some goalkeepers i've seen i have there there has there there is some cases that i've seen where goalkeepers were on top of their prime by the age of 28 29 even 30 you know i've seen goalkeepers like that uh from my experience um but looking at the foundation looking at you know proper rule book uh type book football 25 24 is the perfect age where a goalkeeper finally hits his ceiling and then we can you know start seeing if he's a good goalkeeper or not um so Nik uh, nikita guelo has hit that age where you know uh he is 24 and he will be 25 when next season starts um so he 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 is much younger and i hope he he learned more if not we can still keep him as a reserve goalkeeper and if if our manager says that uh Nankita Guelo cannot be the good the, the 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 right backup and the backup number 1 for for uh, Kirjakov then we could just put him on the bench as a reserve goalkeeper uh, and place him at number 3 and then have Alexander Vazovitin uh, have you know once again be back as the number 1 backup for Kirjakov and you know basically have this the same uh season as this year you know um but guys like uh Adoevsky, guys like Ka karaliev and Biazrov, guy these lads are very young um Adoevsky is 20 years old karaliev is 19 will be 20 very uh i think in august and then Biazrov is 20 years old as well very very young goalkeepers and and i could still put them on for uh you know two three years even more four or five years even around because they're still 20 years old so they're still a good four or five years and we can we can keep them there at uh at zinet number two uh with our with our junior squad over there and you know let them be starters because I, I, over there they will be uh, starters and then we can have uh i think i think next year we could see adoevsky uh being the starter for our junior team and then maybe have i think we could put Biazrov uh, backup number one, and then we could have uh, Karaliev uh, be the reserve goalkeeper, and you know let him just sit back and just watch uh, Adoevsky and Biazrov, and you know learn from them, and then we we could bring Adoevsky uh, to the senior games from time to time, j just like uh, we did uh, all season this year, and then let him learn from from guys like. Kier Jakov and Vazovitin, or even Nikita uh, Nikita Guelo, if he performs and he becomes, because you know, of course, like we have all summer to determine if uh, Nikita Guelo is worthy of being the backup to Kier Jakov. So surprise, we can have plenty of surprises. Now it's we have all summer to uh, determine that. So uh, whatever happens, happens. Um, but we could have Adoevsky uh, learn behind Kerjakov, Vazovitin, uh, Nikita, Guelo. Uh, so it will be interesting. Uh, we'll see uh, what happens at the end of the season. And then next season, uh, we have all summer. We have uh, the end of the season to, to take care of and to, to uh, give some thought to see what could be done. Uh, so... Thank you guys for tuning in and once again welcome back Nikita Guelo. I hope you didn't miss us too much. Uh but we're we're glad to have you back. Uh we're glad to have you <laughs> in Saint in Saint Petersburg back uh back to where <laughs> you you belong and where you left us and now you're you're back. So welcome back once again Nikita Guelo. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope all of you have a good day. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.